What's up, fellas? This is your boy, Dark Cal, coming to you from the rig with some information and informative video here, man. All right, so this video is going to be to reply to some questions that I've been getting on the comments about the Maybach videos. You know, I got guys that want to know what the money's really like. I got guys that want to know, you know, what's the, what, what you know, what, what the expenses look like, like what, what it looks like after the expenses, like what to expect, like what's going to come out of your checks, what are you responsible for, whether you're leasing, renting, or you're an owner-operator. So let's get into it. So it's gonna be. A, I'm gonna try to keep it short and let's get into it. So whether you're renting a truck from Maybach, you're doing the lease program, or you're an operator, you're gonna get the same options. Well, actually, I think if you're leasing and renting, I think if you're leasing, you're automatically gonna be on the 20, on the cash 22, the 22 percent program, which includes Maybach's percentage, the trailer, and insurance. That's the option that I'm on, and I'm an owner operator. But as an owner operator, or when you rent, they give you the option to just pay 12 percent. Of the gross the gross and but then you have to pay for the insurance and the trailer rental and then it used to be 250 and 250 but now it's gone up it's 350 and 350 so you're looking at 700 dollars for trailer and insurance and that's weekly so the 22 percent in my opinion is the best way to go because that covers everything it covers maybach's percentage trailer and insurance so that that's what you're looking at so basically I'm gonna make it look like if you was renting. So if you're renting a truck from Maybach, okay, let's say that your rental truck, let's just say your rental truck, you're, you're renting a brand new truck. A brand new truck is you're probably gonna be looking anywhere from thirteen to fifteen hundred dollars with the way the market is right now. I'm, you know, don't quote me on that, but I'm just going from what I've heard because you know I know some places offer cheaper trucks, but if May Maybach usually they're putting like from what I've heard they're putting people in brand new trucks now, and that's. The range you know you might find a truck all the truck you probably get it for like maybe eight to a thousand dollars but i think those are the rentals I'm, I'm really like i said you'll have to talk to me back about that but let's just say that you're renting a truck for thirteen hundred dollars let's use that number right there all right boom so you're renting your truck at thirteen hundred you're running okay so if you do your gross let's say you end up you're a driver that stays out because remember if you're a driver that goes home every weekend you know like me i my average gross is in the area of 55 to six grand. That's average, 5,500 to six grand gross. And I'm okay with that. I'm home every weekend, you know what I'm saying? And I make, you know, I own my truck, I make my bread, I'm happy. But the drivers that stay out, I know they're grossing anywhere from 65 to 85. I even know some guys, they even make nine. Depends where you go as well and how long you stay out. Cause you know, if, when you stay out, you're working seven days. So, okay, so your rental is, is 1,300, boom. So. Let's say you gross 8,500. Okay, boom. Let's say you gross 8,500 that week. So what's gonna come out of your check, and I'm not gonna do the math. If you guys watching the video, just write it down and you can do the math for yourself and you see what you're looking at. So your gross is 85. So the first thing you wanna subtract is subtract. You can do it both ways. You can subtract and you're renting. You can do it with the 12%. So you do 85 minus 12%. And then you deduct whatever your truck payment is, the rental, then you wanna deduct if you do 12%, then you also want to deduct $700, which is going to cover your trailer insurance. You'll deduct your fuel. You know what I'm saying? You'll deduct your fuel. And then you'll, you'll, you'll know what you're left with. Whatever's left, that's what you're left with. If you do the 22%, same number, $8,500, you are just going to deduct $8,500 minus 22%, minus the amount of your rental, and then minus your fuel. That's it. Now, Maybach does provide you with a best pass for, you know, the way stations, and they provide you with an easy pass for the tolls. That will usually come out once a month or sometimes every two weeks. It depends how much tolls and where and the, where you're running. But we do, we are responsible for the tolls, but they do provide us with the devices. So that's what you're looking at, guys. So 8,500 at the 22%, which is what I recommend, the 22%. So 8,500 minus 22% minus fuel minus your rental, that's what you're going to be left with. You know, again, guys, there are, there, are, there are companies out there that, you know, that you'll probably be, you know, paying less for rental. You know what I'm saying? There's companies out there that do that. But it, but what kind of company are those? You know, I know there's a lot of companies that do that, but then they fuck with your money and shit. There's always a catch. I can tell you right now, I've been with Maybach since 2016, and they don't play with my money. They, you know, the people are straight up about business. You can talk to them. They're not, they're not, they're, they're, they're there to listen, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's why they have grown. Like I've said in the past, when I started with Maybach, there was only like 40 trucks deep, you know what I'm saying? Mostly owner operators, and we're 500 plus right now, and they're growing for a reason. It's because they take care of their drivers. They don't fuck around with your money, 
And when you tell them you want to be home for home time, they don't fuck with that either. They understand that drivers need to go home. If you tell them you want to be home at this certain time, they're going to get you home. And if you're a company, you're going to be forced dispatch. But if you're owner operator, leasing or renting a truck, you choose where you want to go. You tell your dispatcher where you don't want to run and where you want to run and how you want to run. You know what I'm saying? You decide because you're basically like an owner operator. So that's what it is, fellas. You know, you're going to have the option of 12% minus truck and tra minus trailer insurance or the cash 22, which is the most popular one. Dude, I'm, that's what I'm on. I recommend that highly. And then I know they're going to ask about fuel cards. So here we go. I'm going to put it in here too. Maybach will provide you with an EFS fuel card. You can only fuel pilots and flying J with that fuel card. But if you are renting, leasing, or an owner operator, and you have your own fuel card, you have credit cards or whatever, and you don't want to use the Maybach card because you want to be able to fuel in mom and pop truck stops, you can do that as well. Now, they're not going to provide you with that fuel card, but you can... Oh, this just fell. I always put up, always falls. You can... Like, let's say I have the A2B fuel card. I also have a TCS fuel card. Some people have an EFS fuel card or the fleet fuel card. It doesn't matter. Some guys just use their credit cards. You can use your own card of your choosing for your fuel because you pay for fuel. You just have to send the receipts into Maybach so they can keep track of what you're, you know, of what you're doing. And that's what it is right there. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, you can use your own fuel cards. You don't have to use a Maybach fuel card. If you're a guy that likes to fuel in TAs or some guys like to fuel at Loves, you'll have to get your own fuel cards. But... If you're okay with Pilot and Flying J, you can use the Maybach fuel card. You're always going to pay the cash price at the pump because that's the that's the discount here. Now, sometimes now they do have, I believe, and you have to ask them because I'm not really sure on that. I, they have uh, they have discounts like for owner-operators, so just ask them. But there it is, fellas. If you're renting or you're leasing, the 22%, the fuel, you know what I'm saying, and your truck payment. That's basically what's gonna come out of your check. I'm sorry, the car came in. So that's what you're looking at. After that, the rest is yours. If you guys got any other questions, you can just hit me back up in the comments and I'll reply. And it's your boy, Darkel. Y'all already know, if you are coming to Maybach, welcome to the Maybach family and grow with us, man. I know you're gonna be happy here. And that's what it is. Your boy, Darkel, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.